What is barbecue roll? And how does it protect the heat shield on the way out to the moon? We're gonna talk about that next on how we got to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. The heat shield on the Apollo command module was specifically designed to do one job, protect the astronauts and the spacecraft as it came crashing back into Earth. It took years of testing, calculations, and design work to come up with the final heat shield design, except the engineers had a problem. And one engineer in particular had an ingenious solution to that problem. The problem was that out in space, the spacecraft was exposed to extreme temperatures. On the side facing the sun, it would be 280 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the side in shadow, it would be negative 240 degrees. Now that extreme cold was causing the heat shield to crack. And that was a big problem. So the engineers came up with a couple of solutions, uh, at least in design. One was to redesign the entire heat shield, which would have been very costly and very time consuming. And the other was to add special radioactive heaters to heat up the heat shield to keep it warm so it wouldn't crack. And these heaters would obviously cost money and time and also add weight to the spacecraft. Enter NASA manager and brilliant engineer, Joe Shea. So he took a look at the problem and thought, well, if the problem is that one side of the spacecraft is constantly in the cold shadow and the other side is in the warm sun, why don't you just slowly rotate the spacecraft all the way out to the moon and back? And this was a brilliant solution because once they got the spacecraft started in a rotation, it would continue to rotate without any force acted upon it because they were in space. Uh, as you know from Newton's first law of motion, once something is in motion, it will continue to be in motion until another force acts upon it. So almost like a chicken on a rotisserie grill, so that the same side isn't always facing the flame, the spacecraft would rotate all the way out to the moon and back. Take a look at this diagram. So you can see from this diagram, looking at one end of the spacecraft, if the astronauts fired their reaction engines to get the spacecraft spinning at a rate of three rotations per hour, then the heat of the spacecraft will start to even out and it will be warm all over. They call this passive thermal control or barbecue roll. And because there is no up and down in space, the astronauts weren't affected by it at all. So you can see, sometimes the simplest solutions are the best ones. Until next time, thanks for joining me on How We Got to the Moon.